What do you think about the Walrus operator, if you're familiar with it at all? The reason it's interesting, there's a new operator in Python 3.8. I find it psychologically interesting because it the toxicity over it led Guido to resign, to step down from Is his Is that actually true? Or was it like there's a bunch of surrounding things that also... Was it actually the Walrus operator that... Well, the, it the, was uh, it was a tox it was an accumulation of toxicity, but that was the the most that was the most toxic one. Like the discussion, that's the most number of Python core developers that were opposed to Guido's decision. Hmm. Um, it, he didn't particularly, I don't think, cared about it either way. He just thought it was a good idea. This is where you approve it, and like the structure of the idea of a BDFL is like you listen to everybody, hear everybody out, you make a decision. And you move forward. And yeah. he didn't like the negativity that burdened him after that. People like some parts of the benevolent dictator for life mantra, but once the dictator does things different than you want, suddenly dictatorship doesn't seem so great. Yeah. I mean, they still liked it. He just couldn't because he truly is the bee in the benevolent. He's <laughs> really, he really is a nice guy. He, mm. I mean, and I think he can't, it's a lot of toxicity. It's difficult. It's a difficult job. That's why Alanis Torvald is perhaps the way he is, you have to have a thick skin to fight off fight off the warring masses. It, it's kind of surprising to me how many people can like threaten to murder each other over whether we should have braces or not, or whether, <laughs> like, it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, that's my knee-jerk reaction to the walrus operators. Like, I don't actually care that much. Either way, I'm, I'm not gonna get visibly passionate. My, my initial reaction was like, yeah, this seems to make things more confusing to read. Yeah. But then again, so does list comprehension until you're used to it, so. Like if, if there's a use for it, great. If not, great. But like, let's just all calm down about our spaces versus tabs debates here and like <laughs> be chill. Yeah, to me, it just represents the uh, the value of great leadership, even in open source communities. Does it represent that if he stepped down as a leader? <laughs> well, he fought for it. No, he got it passed. I, I guess, but like, I, I guess, sure. I, I could represent multiple <laughs> things too. It can represent like failed dictatorships <laughs> or it can, it can represent a lot of things. But to me, great leaders take risks, even if it, even if it's a mistake at the end, like you have to make decisions. The thing is this world won't go anywhere. If you const if whenever there's a divisive thing, you wait until the division is no longer there. Like. That's the paralysis we experience with like Congress and political systems. It's good to be slow when there's indecision, uh, when there's uh, people disagree, it's good to take your time, but like at a certain point it results in paralysis and you just have to make a decision. The background of the site, whether it's yellow, blue or red, can cause people to like go to war over each other. Over each other. I've seen this with design. People are very touchy on color, color choices. At the end of the day, just make a decision mm -hmm. and, and go with it. I think that that's what the walrus operator represents to me. Is it like, represents the fighter pilot instinct of like quick action yeah. is more important than uh, than uh, just like carrying everybody out and really yeah. think it through it because that's going to lead to paralysis. Yeah, yeah like if, if that's the actual case that you know um, it's something we're consciously hearing people's uh, disagreement disagreeing with that disagreement and um, saying he wants to move forward anyway. Uh, yeah, that's an admirable aspect of leadership. 